I've been thinking about fitting some extra spotlights, fog lights, whatever you want to call them, to my bike. I've seen them on a couple of guys um, and, and they look alright, so I ordered some. And this is just a video to show you how I fitted them to a Honda DeVille. Whether you want to uh, fit them to yours, it's entirely up to you, but this is how I fitted them. And I'll just show you what we've got in the post. Okay, these are the spotlights that I fit, uh, purchased off eBay. They're the transformer type, U5, U7, as you can see there. And this is the how they come packed. I got you get a pair of them. You get one in the original box, and because they then needed a, a bigger box to put two of them in. They unpacked one and, and packed it up and sent it like this. So, let's just show you the Cree light, and it is a Cree bulb. Oh, it's a chip that's in the bottom, and the, it's a Cree. So, what we'll also be doing is it's a universal bracket, so we'll remove this one and fit straight onto the Deville. I have previously, before I've made this film, I've actually taken the lens out because you take this first cover off, pull the lens out, a bit of clear silicon round, put that back in and then a bit of clear silicon on the inside of that and screw that back on just to make sure that it is definitely waterproof. Also took these screws out because they are thread straight into the housing of the lamp in there. I'll show you a, a, a bit later. Um, and also what I did is I filled that with clear silicon, put the screws in and then when you take that out it's left a plug on the inside of the lamp just to make it waterproof. Let's have a look and see what I do to put it on the bike. Okay, this is a, I suppose a bit of a cheat, I'm in the garage now, and I've actually fitted one, but I'll show you what I did to fit the other, and it was just a matter of placement and, and where they go, I've got a HID headlight, and I thought I'd put the, the spotlights there, some have got them underneath the, what they call the back wings on the, on the DeVille, but let's just show you. For mine, I've got the um, wind deflectors for the feet fitted. So when, let me just get the, the other one. So when that goes on under there, after I've removed that, it can't go far enough back. So it twists. And if it twists, it's pointing inwards like that which is no good, so I've removed that turned it that way up mounted it through there just by drilling a 6mm hole and use bottom half of the bracket to screw into and it's solid so let's show you what I did on the other side ok, first thing left to do is remove this screw from underneath the back wing I've already slightened all that off so it's just a matter of removing that and then let's see if I can see pinch it let's see if I can do this one hand there you go and slide it off now you've got the fastening and the engine protection there so we need to fasten it there on here so it's actually in line with you can see in line with that I'm going to come down 25 mil and then across right I'm going to strip all the uh, metal work off I'm going to remove the three screws that'll strip all 
all the framework off with the Allen stud provided. I ain't got my uh, tripod with me and I can't do it one handed so I will show you what I did as I strip it down. Right, I'll remove these screws and I've just acquired an assistant. So I'll just show you how what these are done. Framework off. That's the silicon I, uh, I put in earlier that I described here, and it just makes a silicon plug so that no water gets in. Just remove that bit. And what I'll do now is uh, if I've got my screws out of it, just take that bracket off the bottom. It's just two screws that's in the bottom that uh, hold that on. That's it taken apart. Just remove these because I'm going to use this bottom bracket and one of these for fastening onto the winglet. Okay, as I did earlier and described from there to there 25mm. So I've just come 25mm drawn a line and we, we squared down. So this is where we're going to put a mount our screw. So what we'll do is we'll match the back end of there and this outer line with that. Just hold it flat down just draw a metal line and then with a 6mm drill bit in the centre and that's our mark mountain hole. Right, so get the, um, one of the existing screws for these this bracket that came off I've got a bigger washer we'll put that through there put that through the mountain hole and then we'll just check that that goes on there you can use nylon nuts as I've said before I might as well use the bracket that came with and it could just tuck under the back wing square tighten that up that's how it looks inside and what I'm going to do now is drill another hole just in the back of this leave room for the, the bracket that this fastens to And 
that will be for the cable to go through. OK, now we've got that fitted, it's just reassembling the light. So we'll get the cable and we'll just set it through that hole for later on. Oops. Like so. Leave these just slightly loose and nip them up a bit later because we need to position the light to see whether we're going up or down. Alright, that's that bit done. Let's go get it put on the bank. Yeah. Right, so as I said the cable's there, we'll thread that into there so that will be out at road later and it's just a matter of sliding that on making sure that the clips go under there like that and we're all clipped in at the bottom clipped in there and then just a matter of putting the screw back in if I get me a dip. Take my glasses off, line that up. And that's it, job done. We can then line them up, position that wherever we want to, when, once we've got the power on. And that's it, job done for now. Next bit, wiring them up. Okay, let's just have a look what we've uh, just received from eBay. And it's the Motorcycle Universal Spot Fog Light Waterproof Wiring Kit. Let's have a look what we've got in here. Two connectors with all the bits. That's going to be fun connecting up. Let's see if I can put all the bits down to, to there so you can see them. See when it's on a darker surface so you connect your wires to these bits put them into the back wedge them in position with them sorry about the mucky nails but I've just changed my fuel pump as well I've got petrol and muck all over me uh, and a piece of heat shrink to go over a number of tie wraps a switch I'll get that out in a second and uh, show you what it is and then the main wiring loom with for it. So they should be straightforward to follow. I'll just get these unraveled. Right, so this is my universal switch um, for that connection. So if I look up at the plans you've got a switch and you've got yellow red is your positive which goes to the white on the wiring loom um, but there's a 
plus Y here, which comes in the kit. It's just this bit. And that connects to the yellow plastic. Anyway, uh, the black connects to the white. Just so I can show you. Like so. And that connects to a positive wire somewhere on the bank, uh, side lights, something like that, so it's powered up when the ignition is on. The other one goes to the relay. Right, I just thought I'd show you on the um, patio the actual full length of this uh, wiring kit that you get. So from this end you've got your battery connectors, positive and negative, going to a fuse, into the loom, up to its relay, and then from the relay you've got the wiring connection that then goes to your additional lights, spotlights, fog lights, or whatever, and these are the connectors that's on. Uh, waterproof um, and then they go to the other connectors so you've got both of them and then coming back down to the relay from the switch or to the switch um, that's to your switch going a bit off off and on and then the connection to your switch live so that's what the loom looks like on the floor. Let's see if we can get it on the bike. Right, we're back in the garage on the bike. Um, positioning the switch. All I've done is you find your location which is going to be best for you on, on your handlebars. We're a bit cluttered at that side. so. Take the two screws out from the bottom, which then allows your piece to uh, come undone. It's, it's actually tie wrapped to that, so you can just thread it through, position it onto your handlebars, and then tighten the screws up. Yeah, I've just tied that, I'll show you. I've just looped them through there, through me pull through. I know, probably one handed. Let's see if I can do it one handed. Let me just pull that through and drop that down there. This should be the hardest bit getting the fuels through. And there we go, we throw the other side. So that's loads of loom that can be tied wrapped to the frame there. Hope you can see that. Tie that there, and then we'll take the seat off again. I've took, oh, I've took that panel off because, as I said, I had the uh, uh, fuel pump to do. So I'll just get the keys. the seat off. So again, we've got the fuels, loads of cable, we'll connect that to the last connections of course after it's all done and then just tidy it up and make that. So that's how we we've got the cable through that way. Let's see about the next bit. Okay so what we've got left loose now is the, let me show you, the two uh, sides of the loom, one to each side of the the bank, uh, and to the lamps. So what we'll do is we'll, because we'll thread that, and if you look at the top of there, where this comes and all the wires originally go, we'll loop that down there, and then the rest 
can follow and go between the yokes where the rest of the wiring loom goes. I'll shove that down there. Hopefully, let's put it down this way first. And then we'll thread one to each end over the top of the radiator. Down here, like this, let's just do it. This is just to show you where it will go, then get it all, it's all between the radiator. Let's get that. All between the uh, forks, so there'll be nothing in the road. We'll make sure that that's like that. And then we'll come down there, either side, and follow that cable and then over the radiator. In fact, not go over the radiator, little rubber flap there. And we'll follow the cables through down that way. So hopefully this will not take too long and then it's not boring. And I'm not hoping that I'm going to be able to show you where that then leads because oh, that should come through back down here again and there it is that's there and do the same with the other side and then when I've got my connectors on my wire for the lamp, that go in there and I'll be tidied up so again I'll just set the other side uh, hopefully show what I was doing but I'll get the gist of where it's going well that's his uh, wiring connection is done so I'll show you well, I've, tied, I've tied that in so that is the connector up there and wired into that that were really bad actually weren't it so anyway down there the wires come up I'll show you which one it is now it's this wire from the switch all the rest what I did is I uh, passed them through there can you see them two? I don't know if you can see them white wires over that red one, which is down through there. So I can get a point, a screwdriver. Threaded them through that bit there. There's a triangle at the back of the, the framework here. So that they're out at road of the the steering and the yokes. That white wire there is the connection to my live feed from the switch. Let's go around the other side of the bike. So it comes across. Oh, I'll show you. Here. This is what I, that's the cables that belong to the new wiring loom for the spotlights and it goes through here where the cables are uh, down to the right hand side that is really tight to get in so I did have to um, take the bolts out and just slack me and it I did wedge it with my lamp my lamp went in there and just gave me enough room to get my hands in and then I've tucked it back in there just dangling down there and that's my wires so that's one connected to there and then of course the feed so all of that put some extra light on the white wire that comes across from the switch 
and then it's connected into um, a live feed from the switched lights. So that's the wiring done. We just need to get the plastics on. Let's just have a look down here. Let's switch the ignition on. Ignition's on. Switch the side lights on. Nothing happening. Switch the spotlights on. And there you go. I should have done that. I'm in garage. So there you go. Spotlights up and running. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll show you as well. Long switch. My HID is, and I'll show you in the um, darkness. I'll show you what it's like, and that's the the lights running. So I'll just put the the panels back on. There you go, that's the system of the light. Done.